our presentation to you is about harnessing light, possibilities and challenges. Slide, please. Harnessing light means exactly what it says. We control and make use of this natural resource in whatever way we can for the benefits of mankind. Like we have harnessed the wind energy as well as the solar energy. We have always been harnessing light. From the days of Edison's incandescent lamp with the familiar tungsten filament to the LEDs of today, we light up our homes. Just a few years ago, we thought of LEDs as nothing more than tiny red lights used as indicators and equipments, but times have changed. With more and more, energy to plants and light is at the center of technologies from computer to surgical procedures. The field of optics concerns harnessing light to perform useful tasks. Light influences our lives today in so many ways that we could never have imagined just a few years ago. Apparently, light will play an even more significant role in the future, resulting in a revolution in the field of fiber optic communications, new procedures in the medical field, and investigations in all fields of science. Light particle photon is understood to travel at a very fast speed of 2.99 to 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Next, please. Some of the methods of harnessing solar energy are as follows. Firstly, solar photovoltaic cell. This technology is used to convert solar energy into electricity. It is achieved by using a solar cell made, which is made up of semiconducting materials. Secondly, Solar heating device. The purpose of solar heating device is to reflect the sunlight in a particular direction and then collect it and trap it in a small region so that it may heat the object placed in that region. Thirdly, solar water disinfection. It is a type of portable water purification that uses solar energy to make biologically contaminated water safe to drink. And lastly, solar desalination. It is a technique that is used to desalinate water using solar energy. Around the world, about 1.5 billion people live without power and about a quarter lived in India. Due to this, thousands of people lost opportunities for better education and better livelihood. Access to energy saves lives and helps millions of people live themselves out of extreme poverty. Generating power from non-renewable energy is costly. For generating one megawatt hour of power in a thermal power plant, around 700 kilograms of coal is used. The residual and waste products are very harmful for nature. For this reason, challenge now is to make use of free force like hydro, light, or wind energy. Among this, light energy can be used everywhere, either in desert areas or in snowy places. Moreover, the space required is very less. We can simply make our rooftops as generating station. The challenge is to make improvements in photovoltaic cells' efficiency. The efficiency of solar cell depends on the spectrum and the intensity of the incident sunlight and the temperature of the solar cell. Professor Harald Haas from the University of Edinburgh in the UK introduced a new technology known as Light Fidelity Li-Fi. The light waves can penetrate through walls, which makes a much shorter range. Though more secure from hacking relative to Wi-Fi, direct line of sight isn't necessary for Li-Fi to transmit a signal. Light reflected off the walls can achieve 70 megabits per second. Li-Fi is 250 times faster than super-fast broadband and is expected to be 10 times cheaper than Wi-Fi. Please. The production cost of one unit of electricity is much higher than the cost in coal-based thermal power plant. At this cost, most people in developing countries cannot afford to use a solar cell. Thus, the possible solution to the cost issue is to lower the processing cost of the solar cell. If solar cells could be fabricated with new materials at a reduced production cost, this could make the photovoltaic technology more accessible and viable. In the medical field, optics is enabling a wide variety of new therapies, from laser heart surgeries to the arthroscopies enabling minimum invasive knee repairs, all containing optical imaging systems. In India, solar insulation ranges from 4 to 7 kilowatt hour per square meter per day. With about 300 clear sunny days in a year, solar incidence is 5,000 trillion kilowatt hour per year. In one year, the sun radiates about 8 into 10 to the power of 7 joules of energy into space, all of this energy our art receives only about 4 into 10 to the power 18 joules of energy. 
Thus, the total analog consumption to the Earth's inhabitants is only about 3 in the 10 to the power 14 joules of energy. Thus, the sun could provide all the energy needed if only we could find a way to utilize it. From the above presentation, we can see the different possibilities and challenges for harnessing light. As we live in a world where without light, our existence comes off empty, we need to take light into a much higher level. We should work with the possibilities of light in so many ways. While overcoming the challenges, I guarantee that we will make this planet Earth into a planet where anything is possible with light. Thank you.